dad, he can, get, he can do anything with dad. If there's anything technical, um, dad always asks Matthew to do it, which I find quite funny because either Michael or I, Michael's probably more capable than everybody in the whole family. It's just that he tends to be so much out of the way. He's actually forgotten because he's never there at meal times or whatever. So it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. And I think Mum's noticed it with Dad, but she can't notice it in herself. And Dad is not one of these people you go and tell that sort of thing to anyway. She just switches into a headmaster mode, which is extremely infuriating. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's a dictatorship. He won't, he won't listen to what you're saying. It's an incredibly illogical argument. And you just can't follow it at all. He goes, contradicts himself and goes back on himself. And it's quite funny to listen to until you're on the wrong end of it. But um, you can't go back and try and follow a clear way through it. Has it been a bit hurtful at times? I think everybody's found it so. And it's certainly, I do not like people who won't accept that they're wrong. Um, and yeah, okay, the same could be said of me sometimes, but certainly if, you, if someone can point out where I'm wrong with it, fine, accept it. But you can point it out numerous times to Father, and he just will not accept it. No, no. Um, What's one of the things that does annoy me, that it's now got to the point of being funny, is he said, I've got a very loose expression in English, and that I don't express myself properly and clearly. And uh, he, he's incredible. <laughs> he's just staggeringly loose, and he just cannot follow things. So I think he's getting old, worse since old age. You don't go into him with a tape recorder and then play it back to him or anything. We have done. <laughs> <laughs> Left a tape playing. He's well, I can understand it. Well, never mind. <laughs> the rest of society can't. So, it's, uh, I think I think he's just very, so very involved with his job, and spends an awful lot of time. He really just forgets to hang on with your family, you know. So that's one of the pressures of it. What sort of things make you angry? People being abusive for no reason. People being sexist, unpleasant, unpleasantness where it's not needed. Um, in fact, I was thrown out of a shop on Friday in London. I went in and uh, I thought it was pretty horrible clothes anyway, but it was the only shop that was sort of roundabouts where I was actually waiting to meet someone. I got ten minutes to kill and um, someone came up to me. The minute I stepped through the door, excuse me, can we help you? And I thought, well, I'm just browsing, thanks. Yeah, you know, I'm just looking through. So I've got to meet someone about five minutes' time. So if you're not going to buy anything, please remove yourself from the shop. 